Hey guys, Chris here with CryoFX, and we're gonna cover a couple things today, and more specifically, a cold spark machine, how it works with respect to time cards. We get a lot of questions that are asked about this and a lot of misunderstanding about how the time cards work and how the time cards are relevant to the sparks and the granules, and we're gonna cover all that on this video so that you're well-educated on that. So there are a couple of machines that are out on the market here. We got like the Pro Blitz cold spark machine. We got the iSpark FX cold spark machines. There's a couple models of those. And of course, the Chauvin Spark Machines, Sparktacular Spark Machines. So there's a series of them out there, and the majority of the ones on the market, they actually take cards. Now, you've seen these before, they're the little RFID cards, and the backstory is, and why they even have these cards is simple. It's this, it's a way for a company to gatekeep their own product and make you as the customer come back and buy product from them. Granules are granules. You can get the granules wherever. So what prohibits you from going and getting them somewhere else? Well, coming back and getting their card and buying the card and buying the granules from them. So some of the questions that come up are, well, what does the card do? Well, the card puts the time on the machine. There is a device on the machine, an electronic device that reads, it has a specific code on it that reads the RFID signal and it actually allows the machine to operate and spray sparks out for a specified amount of time. And this specific amount of time normally cannot change. Whatever card, that card just allows that machine. It's a trigger almost. So we're gonna give an example here and I'm gonna kinda explain how this works, what the time card does, how it works, how it's related to the pack of granules, the whole nine yards. So let's say that you have a Chauvin spark machine, okay, regardless of who you got it from. You get a card and you get a pack of granules. Now the pack of granules and the card in theory go together. That card puts 15 minutes or 12 minutes or 13 minutes, I forget what it is, but it puts a certain amount of time on the machine. The pack of granules is supposed to last as long as that card time is put on the machine. So what I mean here is they probably did a test in the beginning and said out of X amount of machines ran and we put 200 grams of granules in the machine, it takes about on average, you know, 15 minutes for, or 12 minutes or whatever the case is for these granules to run out. Therefore, the amount of time that we're gonna put on the machine is what we're gonna put on this card to match those granules. So if the card puts 15 minutes on the machine, the machine will spray granules, as long as there's granules in the machine, up to 15 minutes and then the machine won't spray anymore. And this is only spraying. Now, some of the questions that come up is, well, what if I turn the machine on? I don't wanna waste my time. You won't waste time if the machine's on. When the machine's on, you're not wasting time, it's just idle. When it actually sprays granules and sparks come out, now you're actually using the time. So, and you can turn the machine off and you can turn it on and you can move it and you can unplug it and you can do all this stuff with the machine but if it's not spraying granules out of it or spraying sparks, you're not using the time. So very specifically, the time only comes off when you use it as actual use spraying sparks. I wanna make that real clear and I say that like that because I know that this is kind of a hard topic to understand. So continuing forward, the way the companies do this is you can buy granules from anybody. Any granules will work on these machines. But the problem is if you keep feeding granules into the machine, eventually it's gonna run out of time. The only way to activate that machine again is with an RFID card. Typically companies only sell an RFID card and a pack of granules as a set because there's no reason to sell RFID cards all day long because the companies themselves, the resellers are buying them from the manufacturer and they come as a pack, pun intended. <laughs> so how this works. The machine, when you get it, will have some time on it, probably from testing or something like that. Now, you can buy granules from CryoFX, and I gotta put that in there because, yes, I'm a CryoFX company. Now, you can buy granules here, and any granules, for the most part, will work in your machine. Now, when you run out of time, you're gonna have to buy another card, and a card comes with a pack of granules. So, what happens here, as I mentioned already, the card has a certain amount of time on it, and ideally, the pack of granules runs out in the same amount of time as what the card has on it. 
and maybe I should stop saying the time that the card has on it because really the card is just a trigger. The time's built into the machine. So when you scan an RFID card on the machine, the machine, it tells itself, okay, RFID card's been scanned. Now I can activate myself again for 15 more minutes. Other machines differ. Sometimes you have minis that are two minutes, uh, depending on the brand, three minutes or four minutes. So don't quote me on just 15 minutes. Every machine is different. Every company has a little bit of nuance to it and a little bit of customization to it. So oh, their cards work on their machines. Cards are not interchangeable between machines. I gotta state that. And especially on the sparklers, you have the white cards, which are the regular size machines. And the white cards also work on the falls. The white cards don't work on the minis. On the minis, you have the black cards. The black cards only work on the minis. They don't work on the mini falls. They don't work on the regular falls. They don't work on other ones. So you have specific cards for specific machines. Definitely contact CryoFX. We have information on our website and make sure that you go on there and you look because the last thing that I would want is you to buy a Spark machine and think that you're gonna save some money and get the smaller pack of granules and ask for a smaller pack of granules without stating what machine you have. And then we send you those and it unfortunately doesn't work with your machine. So just a couple things to remember. Cards are unique to machines. Cards are unique to the brands of machines. They're not interchangeable in either aspect. On top of that, you also have packs of granules. Granules can be used wherever. I'm just gonna nip that right in the butt right now. Granules, if you have granules left over from one machine, yes, you can put it in another machine. That machine doesn't know granules from granules, okay? Just don't put sand in it. <laughs> Sand's not gonna create sparks. Gotta add some humor in there. So I hope that clears up some stuff on this video. We get asked a lot about how cold spark machines work. You know, how, do my, how, does, how does my cold spark machine work? Or cold spark machines, how does it work? Cold spark machines for weddings, cold spark machines, um, you know, for events and quinceaneras. And you know, there's a lot of different brands. I mentioned those at the beginning. So I'm not gonna, um, you know, beat a dead horse as they say with uh, re going over those all over again. But I do wanna make this clear. So the time, is simply just what's on the machine that it's a it's a device in the machine that allows that machine to operate and actually spray sparks okay and the problem that i think that people kind of get misunderstood here is when you have a big pack of granules and a card okay the card puts 15 minutes hypothetical because i want to cover all machines here let's just say for the sake of this example this card puts 15 minutes on a machine this pack of granules should ideally last for 15 minutes in a machine. The problem is this, you have a physical product that sometimes more may spray out, sometimes less may spray out. It depends, you know, the, how you're using the machine, you can't gauge that, okay? On the test that the companies have done, they have taken a, a summary, okay? They've taken a, um, a sample of a, a collection of these on what they've done. You can't control that. The card is time code on the machine and the, the, the machine actually has a time code in it and will shut off at that given time. So if 15 minutes goes on the machine, it's gonna shut off in 15 minutes. It's not like 14 minutes one day and 12 another day. It, it doesn't work like that. The problem you're gonna run into, and I'm telling you this on the video and giving this lengthy explanation because this will happen. After four runs, let's say, well, maybe that pack, you use the pack up in 12 minutes. 13, 14, 15, you have three minutes left. You get another pack and card again as a set. You buy another set. You use that as a set. Now, same thing happens. Let's say three more minutes. The, the, the granules are used up in 12. The card puts 15 on. Well, now you have a total of six minutes that's still on the machine that can still operate, but you don't have any granules. Well, you do that again, and then you do it again. So let's say, hypothetically, you do this four times. Now you're left with 12 minutes on the machine and no granules. Yes. You can buy just granules. I will sell you just granules. CryoFX will sell you just granules. Okay, I'm sure other companies may as well, but buy it from us, why not? <laughs> Gotta put that in there. Now, granules will work in other machines. 
all these granules come from the same place, okay? It's one factory that makes it. They divvy them out to the different companies and they sell them out. So yes, you can buy them. You don't need another card, but that's up to you. Don't quote me on this. I'm not responsible for any liabilities or warranties or anything like that. Just make sure it's granules and not sand, okay? Yes, I've had somebody put sand in it and it's not a pretty sight. We've had to redo the entire machine almost because it just ground everything away. So that's what's gonna happen on your machine, okay? You're, not all the time is the amount of time that the machine has on it going to be consistent with the granules that are in the machine. In a perfect world, they would be, but this isn't a perfect world as we all know. So that's not the case. So that's something that you will run into. Now, I can touch on a couple other things while I'm on this video because we do get asked a lot of questions on these machines. What is the best safekeeping for these machines and what is the best way to handle them? Don't leave the granules in the machine, okay? It's kind of like if you park your car for, or let, hypothetical here, okay, lawnmower or pressure washer, if you're gonna put it in a uh, storage unit for seven months, are you gonna leave gas in it? Kind of the same theory here, okay? You wanna take the gas out because it's gonna get stale, it's gonna clog it up, it's gonna make things not run correctly. The same thing with this machine, except these really don't go stale, but they can get moisture in them, they can clump together, they can cause a problem on the machine. So if you're gonna be using the machine and you're gonna be transporting it, just empty them out, okay? Chauvin units, sparkler units, I can't speak for any other ones. Those tend to do the best, okay? You can leave granules in them and we have not seen as many problems when people leave granules in them and they move them. But keep in mind, okay, I have a pack of granules here and we can bend this pack like this, right? Well, if I come pack this down, I can't bend this pack anymore at the bottom. The same thing happens in your machine. When you're moving it around and you're setting it down, what's gonna happen is those, are gonna, those granules are gonna compress, they're gonna compact like sand would on a beach, and it's gonna be harder for that funnel and that corkscrew to push it through the machine. Now, if you wanna see some other videos on how these machines work, how a spark machine works, and uh, you know what the internals are like, I do have a couple other videos that you could see on the channel. Actually, I'll pop one up here, and I'll pop one up here. You could see either one of those videos on how it works internally, so you can get a better idea on how they work, okay? They're not super complicated, but it is a machine, and it will tend to cause some issues sometimes. So the best bet that I would say Regardless, if you're having a cold spark machine for a wedding, if you're having it for an event, whatever it is, inform the client, this is a machine. This is a machine that's working with a number of mechanics. Normally it works, okay? However, there will be a time potentially, or there may be a time or however you wanna phrase it, that this may not work. Leave yourself a way out because you know what? The worst thing that can happen is you tell a client that these are the best things in the world and you promise them the world and guess what, they don't work. Now, I, I get it. That's not what you really wanna tell a client, but if you're confident in saying that and you follow it up with an explanation, the client will respect you for being honest with them, okay? Because guess what, the company that's not honest with them, that's the company that they're not gonna to wanna to go with because they're not honest and they lied. That's right guys, I'm Chris with Cryo Effects here and I hope you enjoyed this video on a cold spark machine, how it works, you know, with respect to a time card and how the time cards work, how the RFID cards work with the machine. Uh, make sure you contact us if you have any questions. Uh, we have an array of spark machines, we do repairs in house. Yes, I gotta give this plug because why wouldn't I? Um, we see a lot of patterns, so if you'd like to know some information, go ahead and contact us. I'd be more than happy to have myself or my staff give you some information on some of these products because um, you know what? These products are unique and these products are cool. Uh, as you know, cool sparks, cold sparks, <laughs> get it? Now, uh, other than that, yeah, take a look on, on the site and please be safe with them. Don't do it inside. Make sure you abide by the fire marshal laws. I have to say that. I'm not telling you where or when they use these or how to do that. This video does not endorse anything illegal. Make sure you run permits for these because trust me, if you get caught without using a permit on one of these, it could be a bad situation. Okay, if you have any questions on the granules, if you have any questions on the product, I have links below. And I'm Chris with Cryo Effects. And until the next video, thanks for watching guys.